I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a story of a song I recorded one afternoon, not enough years ago. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm gonna tell you the story of a song I recorded one afternoon, not enough years ago to laugh at too easily. I don't know, maybe six years ago. It was a sunny afternoon. I ate some mushrooms in the morning, as was my occasional habit then, common for a man in his early 30s. I had my quarterly beard. I remember because I put on the blonde wig laying around the warehouse at the time. We used to have a warehouse. We'd record there, and there was a ping pong table. Most of the decisions were made while engaged with. We'd play lefty marathons hours and hours until we'd all agree we'd been living all wrong all along. Secretly lefties, all of us. Then, and only then, could we return to working on music. One day, a pair of skis appeared and remained in a corner for years. No one could explain their arrival. It was a strange way to live. No way to justify it, really, I suppose. A woman once wrote a cover story for New City about how she realized she'd hit rock bottom and turned her life around after waking up there one morning with one of my roommates. She didn't name him, but she described the hammock room with astroturf and beach sunset wallpaper murals and dense plastic foliage perfectly, not to mention his fresh paint smell. So a blonde wig, wig was lying around, no idea where it came from. Tripping and black bearded, I'm recording myself playing guitar. When it hits me, really the sound I need is hidden in the curls of this blonde wig. So I put the wig on. My clothes start bugging me, like fabric against skin is way too oppressive to truly hit this take, so I take off all my clothes. I'm naked and bearded in this long, curly, blonde-haired wig. Keep in mind, I'm reserving the right to suspend judgment and simply appreciate this experience in a detached, sociological kind of way. But then these guys start doing construction out on the street. It's hot out and the windows are open. We're in the middle of an abandoned industrial area, so usually no big deal, quiet all the time. But these guys start doing some construction outside real loud, repairing this road no one ever, ever uses. Right as I'm finally getting somewhere playing and I'm ready to start getting down some takes. So I'm going a little nuts. It's urgent, right, to track this that second because I'm tripping real hard. And now it's sounding like perfectly beautiful. I need to capture it while I'm in this zone because this zone, if not quantifiably present in the recording, is at least in the performance somehow, right? But now this jackhammer is pounding away nonstop and it's just killing me. It's overwhelming violence, brutality. I get up and I don't know if this was funny yet or if I was just so fed up. I get up and I lean out the window with these guys. Shut the fuck up, goddammit! I'm trying to record a song up here, motherfuckers! Motherfuckers, keep it down! Of course, they're pissed and confused when they finally hear me over that fucking jackhammer pounding away. But you all know, everyone's tripped. So I'm the green fuse itself through the flower recording this whatever guitar pattern and howling along. And these guys are God herself fixing these potholes. So of course, God understands God's own priorities. The world needs this goddamn song. Or if not the world, at least my personal batch of teenagers that like me need it. God damn the jackhammers, the potholes, I have a new song. First since yesterday. These guys are laughing hard at me screaming at, while I'm screaming at them. To be taken more seriously, I pull the microphone across the room, put on a straight stand. I turn on the monitors so my voice, buried under feedback from the mic in front of the monitors, is amplified out the window. The speakers howl any second I stop screaming. I've climbed up in the window, squatting on the sill with my long, the long steel of the straight mic stand leaned up against my chest in real front man posture, projecting my screaming out into the street. I've hit record, tripping I'm God, and the Pro Tools waveform is scrolling God, and these Polish sausage-eating mustached honky motherfuckers are God, and the song is obviously nothing more or less than exactly what it can be. I have no choice. The song I record can only be myself screaming a tantrum at these city worker guys from my window. I'm recording a song here, goddammit! Yeah, you come up here and suck my dick, motherfucker! I've always appreciated anyone who's done so, and we're all God here, right? I love you, right? So why not? You just shut the fuck up! I love you! You don't understand? I love you! You just shut up, asshole! Their insults were silly. They were all laughing, but definitely aggressive and strangely sexist. These were really some very rude guys. 
But after a while, I don't know, my legs hurt from squatting on the sill, or the guys got bored, or I did, I don't know. Time passes, and it all dies down. So I climb down from the window. I walk over to the computer to hit stop and check the takeout on the headphones. And yeah, it's killer. You hear the jackhammers before I start screaming, the feedback in the room quieter than the signal in my voice. It all makes perfect sense, sounds great. I step in the bathroom, and without thinking there at that moment, the ultimate tripping no-no is indulged, then the worst of all pos possible times. I'm looking in the mirror, spinning vertigo saucers for eyes, only, trip, only looking in the mirror, spinning vertigo saucers for eyes, did I remember I was naked, black bearded, and blonde curly wigged. It took seeing this, myself for a second, to imagine myself from the perspective of these city worker guys, leaning naked out the window of an abandoned brick factory with a microphone, two in the afternoon with a blonde wig and a black beard, screaming at them to stop fixing the street. Returning to it, the track sounded the same as it had the second before, way better than the Salvia tracks. Ten minutes of silence before I suddenly shout panicked, Hello! Hello! <laughs> but for some reason, all the dumb shit I make public, I never did have the nerve to release that song. I thought of it tonight because I saw that woman that used to write for New City for the first time in some years. We've never spoken, but I know who she is. Yeah, it's a shit life. All the suspense and all the nothing. But I enjoyed writing this. I want to share it with some people. <laughs>